Hey guys, my name is Pansy and welcome to my low AP Star's End guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started grinding at Star's End with relatively low AP and DP. I recommend you have at least 245 AP Kudum and 308 DP, but for this video, I'll be using 236 303 because I had to drop my gear down and I didn't have many options to hit the 245 mark. Also, some of my pieces do not have any crystals, so just keep that in mind. But at least this way we can go slow and steady and I'll explain you the rotation as best as possible. Before we begin, just remember, having higher FPS and lower latency in Black Desert Online greatly increases your damage output. That's why I use exit lag to reduce my ping from a fluctuating 80 to 120 MS all the way down to a stable 68 to 70. If you'd like to give it a try, use the link down below in the description for a free 3 day trial. And if you like it, you can use the code PANSY for 20% off. And here are my settings for BDO. Also, if you find this video helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I drop a new video or go live. And follow me at twitch.tv slash I'm Pansy. Alright, let's get started with the buffs. If you're new to this rotation, you definitely want to use simple cron meal. Me personally, I use exquisite cron meal because I run into a lot of PvP. And right now I'm missing two of my rings because I took it off to drop my AP. So my accuracy is also low. So if you need accuracy or ready for PvP, you can use this. For the draft, I use Frenzy Draft with a combination of Spirit Perfume Elixir for the five crit. But if you're new, definitely consider using Giant's Draft or Beast Draft. But otherwise you can use whichever one you're comfortable with and use your tent buff if you have it and always run your Alchemy Stone. Now, if you don't have a good one, you can always use the Spirit Stone of Destruction, and that's perfectly fine. Before we get started with the rotation, let's go over the drop table here at Star's Den really quick. Trash loot here sells for 15.5k each. The rare drops you find here are going to be the Black Distortion Earrings, which do fluctuate in price and can sell for over 300 mil at times. The clear Black Star Crystals used to make the Corrupted Magic Crystal. And the Mass of Pure Magic. In addition, you can get Blackstone Weapons, Blackstone Armors, BMC Precisions, Ancient Spirit Dust, and Trace of Origin. The Elite that spawns here does not drop the rare items at a higher rate, but you do get a little bit more of the other stuff. Alright, now that the buffs are out of the way, I'm going to do the rotation on my own ones all the way through, and then I'll explain each and every pull step by step. To get here, you come to Star's End, and it's going to be right here. This is the little entrance here. And I think this rotation is called the town rotation. There's multiple rotations around here, like main rotation, cliff rotation, temple rotation. There's a middle rotation over here. My favorite is temple, but at low AP, you won't be over clearing this too easily. So this rotation is perfect to start off with. Alrighty, let's get started. I'll talk to you guys once I finish one complete round of this rotation.
And there we go, that's one complete rotation. Now let's go through the details. First thing to note is the big guys over here, the Apostles of Immortality, are the ones that drop the distortions, so they are MVP, VIP, they are the most important mobs here, so make sure you kill and loot them at each pack. Alright, to start off, this is the pack you see first. You want to pull them to the crystal and break the crystal to knock them down. So, I aggroed both the packs, and once they are nicely grouped up, just start damaging and destroy the crystal. Once they're down, just go ahead and burst and kill them. Alright, the next pack is straight down here. You want to pull the far ones to the Apostle of Immortality. So whenever you have the opportunity, you always want to bring the little mobs to the big guy. And always clean up all the pack here because if you have stragglers, it might mess up your next pull. So make sure they're all dead. Now come over to this crystal. You pull this pack over here, back to the crystal with the immortality. All right, once it's here, go ahead and break it and kill the mobs. So right here I have two stragglers, which is not good. So I want to avoid aggroing these guys in the beginning, and I want to get the guys in the back first, and then pull them to this group. Make sure all the mobs are nicely grouped up, and then destroy the crystal. And sometimes the crystal can automatically one-shot all the mobs here, just like I did right now. So that's fine, just move on to the next pack. And you do get the loot and everything, so don't worry. Now group these two packs up and burst them down. Now come back this way. You're going to pull the far group over here to the near group here. So come here, pull them, and group them up here. And once they're nicely grouped up, you can burst them down. All right, let's e-buff. Here we go. Now once you have 245 plus AP, they'll die a lot better. Right now I'm not using a black star either, so that's a bit slow. All right, now pull this mob over here, that pack over here, to this crystal. Once they're grouped up, break the crystal, and repeat. Classes with good down attack modifiers do really well at star's end whenever you use the crystals, but once you're higher AP, you stop using the crystals and just kill the mobs straight up, because it's actually a waste of time to wait for them to group up like that. But for now, we'll focus with the crystals. Now, pull these two packs together and finish it off, and this will be the last pack of the rotation. And there you have it. That's how you do this little town rotation. Just remember, the efficiency in which you pull and group up the mobs is really important because the better you get at that, the higher your trash should becomes, along with the scaling of your AP of course, but that's something you gotta remember whenever you're in a rotation. It takes practice to get the little tiny details perfect, so you can efficiently grind this for hours to come. So guys, let me be real with you. As a YouTuber, I do have a responsibility of not overcrowding each and every rotation by telling everyone to go there. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. The main rotation and cliff rotation are very heavily contested. So is the temple rotation. Start off with the town rotation here when you're around 245 AP 
and you can also do the middle rotation here both are really good for beginners and it's not as contested because once you have like 261 plus kudum you start over clearing it very easily so until you get to that point just stick to these rotations and once you get better at star's end and once you get higher gear you can start moving over to the temple the cliff and the main rotation with that i end this guide i hope this was helpful please do like comment and subscribe if it was Hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I go live and check me out at twitch.tv slash I'll look forward to seeing you guys and let me know how this goes. Peace.